Nasi lemak is a Malay fragrant rice dish cooked in coconut milk and pandan leaf. It is commonly found in Malaysia, where it is considered the national dish. It is also popular in neighboring areas such as Singapore, Brunei, and southern Thailand. In Indonesia it can be found in several parts of Sumatra, especially Malay realm of Riau, Riau Islands and Maidan. Nasi lemak can also be found in the Bangsamoro region of Mindanao prepared by Filipino Moro. It is considered one of the most famous dishes for a Malay-style breakfast. It is not to be confused with Nasi dagong, sold in the Malaysian east coast states of Terengganu and Kelantan, although both dishes are often served for breakfast. However, because Nasi lemak can be served in a variety of ways, it is often eaten throughout the day. History Nasi lemak was mentioned in a book. The Circumstances of Malay Life, written by Sir Richard Olaf Winstead in 1909. With roots in Malay culture and Malay cuisine, its name in Malay literally means oily or fatty rice, but is taken in this context to mean rich or creamy. The name is derived from the cooking process whereby rice is soaked in coconut cream and then the mixture steamed. The rice is normally cooked with pandan leaves that gives it a distinctive flavor. Traditionally, nasi lemak is served with a hot spicy sauce, sambal, and usually includes various garnishes, including fresh cucumber slices, small fried anchovies, ikan bilis, roasted peanuts, and hard boiled or fried egg. As a more substantial meal, nasi lemak may also be served with an additional protein dish such as ayam goreng, fried chicken, sambal sotong, cuttlefish in chili, small fried fish, cockles, and on special occasions rendang dodging beef, stewed in coconut milk and spices. Other accompaniments include stir-fried water convolvulus kangkong, and spicy pickled vegetable salad akar. Traditionally most of these accompaniments are spicy in nature. Nasi lemak is widely eaten in Malaysia and Singapore. More commonly consumed as breakfast in both countries, it is commonly sold at hawker food centers and roadside stalls in Malaysia and Singapore. In Indonesia, Nasi lemak is a favorite local breakfast fare, especially in eastern Sumatra, Riau Islands, Riau and Jambi provinces. In Palembang, it is also a favorite local dish with the name Nasi Jemak. In Palembangese Malay. Jemak has the same meaning as lemak. This unique dish often comes wrapped in banana leaves, newspaper or brown paper, or it in some shops served on a plate. However, owing to its popularity there are restaurants which serve it as a noon or evening meal, making it possible for the dish to be eaten all day. Nasi lemak kukus which means steamed nasi lemak is another name given to nasi lemak served with steamed rice. In Malaysia, nasi lemak can also be found in a pasar malam night market with a variety of dishes. Health In March 2016, nasi lemak was mentioned as one of the 10 healthy international breakfast foods by Time magazine. This opinion however, might be misleading, since the writer might be referring to its relatively healthier and smaller version and in comparison to large American breakfast, fried bacon, eggs, pancakes, hash browns. A single, full-size serving of nasi lemak with additional fried chicken, meat or fish, can be between 800 and well over 1,000 calories. The savory coconut milk infused rice also contains saturated fat, an ingredient connected to health problems, including diabetes. Variations in Malaysia and Singapore, nasi lemak comes in many variations as they are prepared by different chefs from different cultures. The original nasi lemak in Malaysia is arguably a typical southern and central peninsular Malaysia breakfast, and is considered of Malay origin. However, due to the popularity of the dish, it is regarded as a national dish. The rice cooked in coconut milk is actually common in Southeast Asia. This is the same process used to make similar rice dishes from their neighboring country Indonesia, which are nasi uduk from Jakarta, nasi guri from Aceh and Javanese nasi liwet. However, there are differences in taste because knotted leaves of pandan screwpine are steamed with the rice to impart flavor and fragrance. 
Less often other spices such as ginger and occasionally herbs like lemongrass may be added for additional fragrance. Nasi lemak in the northern West Peninsular tends to include curry. The sambal tends to range from fiery hot to mildly hot with a sweet undertaste. Nasi lemak is not as popular as the indigenous Nasi burlak, Nasi dagong, and Nasi caribou in northeast peninsular Malaysia. It is regarded as a speciality imported dish in Sabah and Sarawak. Hotels often feature Nasi lemak on their menu with elaborate dishes, such as beef rendang and the addition of other seafood. Hawker centers in Singapore and Malaysia usually wrap them in banana leaves to enhance the flavor. Roadside stalls sell them ready-packed, known as NASI Lamak Bunkus, with minimal additions that cost between ERM 1.50 to 6.00 per pack. Seafood outlets often serve the basic NASI Lamak to accompany barbecued seafood. There are Malaysian Chinese and Malaysian Indian versions, and Singaporean Malay and Singaporean Chinese versions. Some people suggest that sambal is the most important part of a NASI lemak meal. If not prepared properly, it could ruin the dish, since Malaysians love food that is hot and spicy. A good deal of spirited and good-natured debate exists around this point. Traditional Malaysian version This traditional favorite it offers sambal, ikan bilis, anchovies, peanuts and boiled egg. This is the most traditional version. Nasi lemak stalls can be found serving them with fried egg, sambal kerang, cockles, a local favorite it, sambal squids, sambal fish, chicken or chicken, beef rendang, squid fritters or even fried chicken or fish. It can be consumed for breakfast, brunch, lunch, tea, dinner and even supper. In Malaysia this meal is usually consumed during morning. Nasi lemak hawkers can be seen anywhere nearby schools, offices etc. The special part about it is the rice. The rice can be cooked with fresh coconut water, and then the cooked rice will be wrapped with pandan leaf scrupine, to serve. So it smells naturally fragrant when eaten. This traditional serving style has been inherited for many generations, from a little stall at roadside to commercials, it seems like a simple way fulfill the crave towards this traditional food in cities. Malaysian Indian Variation the Malaysian Indian variation is similar to the original version. However, many Malaysian Indians are Hindus, and thus do not eat beef. Nasi lemak in the Malaysian Indian version is served with curry, such as chicken curry, fish curry or lamb curry. Moreover, Malaysian Indians also serve a rendition of the dish alongside their very own version of rendang. Malaysian Chinese Variation Although it is not common to see Malaysian Chinese stalls and restaurants selling Nasi Lamak, there is a non-halal version that contains pork, sold in towns and cities such as Malacca and certain parts of Kuala Lumpur. Some Malaysian Chinese hawkers are known to make minced pork sambal. Indonesian Riau Variation Right across the Malacca Strait, the Malay Indonesians of Sumatran East Coast shares close kinship and common Malay cuisine heritage with their Malaysian counterpart. As the result, Nasi Lemak is also native cuisine to Riau Island and Riau Province. In archipelagic region like Riau Islands Province of Indonesia, usually seafood are used to accompany Nasi Lemak, such as ikan bilis, anchovy, ikan tamban, sardinella longiceps, ikan seller kuning, celeroides leptolipus, sotong or kumi kumi, squid, or small prawns. The Riau Islands traditional Nasi Lemak is quite similar to Malaysian version, it comes as a platter of coconut rice wrapped in banana leaf, with cucumber slices, small dried anchovies, ikan bilis, roasted peanuts, hard-boiled egg, and hot spicy sauce, sambal. The Riau Islands version however, comes with an addition of small fish locally known as ikan tamban, usually fried with sambal chili paste and very crispy, the whole fish is edible. Prawns and squids are also commonly stir-fried in chili paste as sambal udang or sambal kumi. In Indonesia, nasi lemak is often sprinkled with bawang goreng crispy fried shallot granules. In Pekanbaru City in Sumatran province of Riau however, freshwater river fishes are commonly used as lock to accompany nasi lemak. 
The freshwater fishes includes Econ salis Cryptopteris cryptopteris, and Econ patin Pangasius. Other fish such as Econ lomac Harpaden naharius, is also commonly used. These fishes are usually cooked in Minang style lotto ijo, green chili pepper, minced and fried as per kettle ikan, or just plainly fried. Indonesian Maidan variation Maidan Malayu Deli Nasi Lamak version usually served with choice of side dishes either rendang, beef or chicken, or balado, egg or shrimp and chili sauce. A set of complete maidans nasi lemak includes sprinkle of crispy fried shallot, slices of omelet, kripik kentang balado, spicy potato chips, tempe auric, seasoned fried tempeh, per kettle, fried potato patties, sambal chili paste, slices of cucumber, and slightly bitter emping cracker. Some traditional restaurant chains have dedicated their business to serving nasi lemak maidan. Next to rendang and balado, vegetable dish sayur masak lemak vegetables including long beans, cabbage, and long green chilies and coconut milk is also offered. It is a popular street food in Maidan sold in humble tarp tent warung, and usually sold together with lontong Maidan. Since Maidan is located near Aceh border, and there are numbers of Aceh people resides in the city, the term nasi lemak and nasi guri are often used interchangeably in the city, since the terms refer to a similar coconut rice dish. Singaporean Malay variation For most of the Singaporean Malay variation, the sambal of the nasi lemak has more of a sweeter and less spicy taste when compared to other variations. As the sambal is a crucial portion of the nasi lemak, it is preferred to be less spicy so as not to overpower the taste of the coconut-based rice and the other ingredients. The sides to this dish includes ikan bilis, anchovies, peanuts and an omelet or fried egg, which is rather similar to the Malaysian version, although the use of a boiled egg as with the Malaysian version is somewhat less common. Occasionally, a variant using the long grain basmati rice may also be found. Singaporean Chinese variation Retaining the familiar aroma of pandan leaves, the Singaporean Chinese variation comes with a variety of sides that includes deep-fried drumstick, chicken franks, fish cake, curried vegetables and tongson luncheon meat. There is also the traditional way of serving it with just the ikan bilis, anchovies, peanuts and fried eggs similar to the Malaysian version. Sometimes the rice is also colored emerald green with the use of screwpine leaf extract or essence, commonly called pandan leaves, that perfumes the rice with a nice fragrance when added to the rice with the coconut milk as well as giving it its bright green color. The use of the color may have arisen as a gimmick to entice customers. Vegetarian variation in certain parts of Malaysia, hawkers also offer vegetarian nasi lemak in which the dried anchovies are substituted with vegetarian mock anchovies. Thai variation In the southern Thailand town of Betong, the nasi lemak is served with tom yam sauce. Gallery See also References